Uh, I'm gonna keep the Solarium. Solarium plus Plot Twist is one of the best ways against aggressive decks to get your, your quest completed, and one of the best ways to, to, to be able to win that way. Whoa. Quest Warlock versus Quest Warrior. What are the odds? Ankar. All right. Hmm. I just want to tap, and then I can tap and questing next turn. Yeah, maybe be a little too ambitious. Oh god, that's. Feeling too ambitious, for sure. Oh god. Okay. Maybe I underestimated how aggressive this deck was going to be when I played Hack the System on one. Huh. Oh, I wish I had this questing in play. I'm actually going to Solarium. We're hoping to hit Dark Skies. We did. Smorked fairly hard. Oh god, my allergies. Oh, Just that my opponent made that trade. I tr complete his quest this turn. Oh dear. Yep. We do have Godfrey. But it seems to be out of Out of Pirates. Okay. Well Godfrey clears. I think I'm actually probably in a decent spot now, because I guess my opponent can make guys, but I actually have you know a board. Unless it's like just clearing this. We have we have twist if my opponent makes a big board. And then we have this. Okay, I'm probably just gonna twist this board. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Okay. Hand, if seven cards. Okay, that's much less scary when you don't really have any uh, anything left. I actually just get to life tap. I feel like I'm like in a decent enough position to be able to just use life tap. Do we? Does it matter though? No, I don't even care about life tapping. Getting more cards doesn't do anything. We're just playing Cartet here, and then next turn we're gonna play Fell Lord, Betrog, and Plot Twist. The only thing it does is give me one more card in hand. Plot twist, which is actually pretty valuable. Okay, we're gonna do it. I could have also just tapped and then Dorian plot twist if I had played this first. Plot twist. Draw seven. Bone Wraith's a good one. Dark Skies is not. Reform's a good one. 
Giant's a good one. Relic's a medium one. Or is a bad one. It's a good one. Okay. Your turn. Now we have free plot twist. We also just have Rafam. If our opponent doesn't kill Betrug, we have Rafam plus hero power, which is just like nutty. Like Rafam, Rafam plus Betrug plus hero power means that like I get a, a rushing version of whatever legendary it turns into. Sure, that's just not scary enough. Yep. Like, he, he, this guy's gotten through, like, three Ankaras or whatever, but... Yep. I'm just doing it. These are all real bad. Ooh. Okay. All right. That was pretty good. Such insolence. Oh, I guess this guy was a normal one. He didn't need to attack into that. He was a real one from this. Thinking uh, that it was a uh, Betrug thing. Sure. You're still, like, not killing Betrug, who is, like... <laughs> Betrug is the thing that's beating you <laughs> at this point. <laughs> You're not leaving him. You're not doing anything. Ooh, so I get... I can Murazond for zi Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, so... First out of Murazond, because it's sweet. <laughs> I just wanted a Murazad! Who gets the Murazad? <laughs> and now we have a zero cost Ali Alexstrasza that my opponent doesn't even know about. <laughs> it was already zero, though. It was already zero. Okay, fine. I'll just kill you. That, yeah. That game showcased, like, you know, when you aren't playing against a deck that, like, can just burn you out. If you have the time to just build out your board and they have to kill you on the board, this deck's really good at that. 